Welcome to Classic Wraps. The title of this project is the Candy Apple Box. As you review your layout, you should have your candy apples ready. Um, you can place them on a treat bag or wax paper. Um, ensure that they are refrigerated before placing in this box um, and have your tools. Now that we've reviewed our layout, let's get started. Okay, in front of you, you should have a sheet of cardstock paper. I'm using white cardstock. Um, Therefore, I can use a lot more uh, embellishments and enhance more color at the top of the card box. Um, it is as you desire to use what color you prefer, depending on the theme as well. So in front of you, you should have a sheet of cardstock, 4 by 9 and a quarter. And what you're going to do is take your ruler. You may use pen or pencil. If you are using pen, use very lightly. You're going to measure every three inches and just simply dice it on the side with the pen or pencil. And then go another three inches and dice that as well. And another three inches until you're completed. So you're going to simply just take it and go to three inches. Mark it toward the end of the paper. So just make sure you have it dotted there. Every three inches you'll make a dot. and repeat this process. Now on the opposite side, repeat the same process as well. Now there's no need for an X-Acto knife or scissors or a scoreboard. What you're going to do is simply take your ruler on the first notch, take your paper and simply press against your ruler toward the end. Try to get at the inner corners. Starting from the bottom, pushing upward, and that is your fold for your first set. Then you're going to go another eight, three inches um, and repeat that process until you have three sections. If you have a little extra room on the side, you can go ahead and cut that off um, or use that as well. So your cardstock should look something like this. Every three inches is folded just two pieces um, in between and you are going to turn it over and press the two tops to align them evenly as possible you're going to take your one hand hole punch and place a punch here toward the inside and on the other inside another easier way may be to turn it upside down so you can get it evenly as possible. Now to add a little more character to this card box, what we're going to do is actually place a hole punch in between to give it a bite-sized look. You can use any hole punch uh, or paper punch cutout that you prefer. What I am going to use is a scallop circle punch by Uchida and simply place it halfway. Now in order to do this, you must turn it the opposite side so you can see where you are punching through. Simply punch through. So after placing that scallop punch, it gives it a bite look considering it is for a chocolate or candy apple. So we have that there. So now you're going to place your candy apple in between. Center it just a bit and hold this close. Now all you need is one yard of ribbon, fold it in half and cut those at slanted sides in order for it to easily go through the holes here. Close as you desire. If you want it really tight, you can tie that close. If you want to give it um, a little more space and leave it loose to show more of the apple, that's fine as well. You're going to simply either tie a knot, cut the excess um, that you may have. Okay, for our last step, we used a scallop nesting punch um, with a few glitter and metallic card stocks and placed them right here on top of the apple stick and just simply placing a piece of tape back there and getting into the creases so it stays on. 
and you can also add on a few embellishments. Um, here I used a bow, which you would preferably do before you have folded your cardstock onto the apple. Um, what's great about the card box, um, it gives a nice bite-sized look with the scallop punch. And also on the side, you are able to see everything on the side, so it gives a temptation. For more information on these projects, view the link below. Until then, thanks for tuning in at Classic Wraps.